Hello everyone, this is Rich Hay from the SuperCypher Windows here with another demo video for you today, but this one's a little unique. I'm actually coming to you from my HP Spectre X360. This is a two-year-old laptop that was given out of build two years ago, and it is running my only bare metal version of the Redstone 3 development branch. So I've got build 16193 that was just released last Thursday after the Microsoft keynote on day two about all the new Windows features, including what I'm about to show you. Story Remix. Now, Story Remix, for whatever reason, has not come out to every device that's currently in the fast ring. I've got two virtual machines on my main desktop computer. One has the feature, one does not. You'll find Story Remix inside of the Photos app. Now, there's a lot of discussion about whether or not that will become a permanent place for it or will it get its own app because they said it builds upon the features that are already present in the Photos app. So, for right now, if you have it enabled, on your system, it will be there. So I recommend that when you, after you upgrade to 16193, you check for updates and make sure there's no lingering updates for the Photos app. Maybe that will trigger it. I've heard other people say that they rebooted the computer, came back to it, and it was enabled. So just keep trying that until it kicks in for you. It's one of the, the bug bash feature quests this week, so I know that Microsoft wants us all testing it. So let's talk a little bit about Story Remix. Now, if you were paying attention at the demo last week, you've already seen, and I did a story yesterday with two sample videos using Story Remix for my Microsoft Underground tour I did on Friday on the Microsoft campus and the day before when I visited the hub and showcase floor where all the partners and the Microsoft different technologies were on display. So you can check that story out from yesterday. I'll put a link in the story that goes with this video as well and down in the comments. But let's just take a quick look and uh, see just what Story Remix, as it is right now, and not all the features are there yet, because what we saw in the demo on Thursday, there were a lot of extra things that we don't currently have enabled yet. So the first thing you want to do, obviously, is open up the Photos app. The Photos app is uh, where you will find, and this is what it will look like, this is where you'll find Story Remix. So as you can see, you've got an Explore option up here. I think on the other one was... Um, uh, create or something like that. I can't remember, but it definitely was an explorer. And you have this new toolbar across the top. And sometimes it will take a date and pull together some images that's in your camera roll or other things that you've uploaded as a group of photos to work with. Um, if you've got other memories, then you can add source folders for sourcing out to your pictures, either on a local network drive, a USB drive, a hard drive, or another directory on your hard drive. Um, stories I've created are here. So I've got a link to that right there, and you can see it kind of rotates through the photos that are in that story. Um, people and friends. So there was, <clears throat> excuse me, there was one feature demoed where you could collect information, pictures, and images and videos from other people who are in your network. So that example on this keynote stage was a soccer game and several parents recording their kids playing, and that all came together. And so that's where that is. That's not fully implemented yet. And then you have uh, a button over here that is my creation. So if I was to click on that, I would see the two videos I created yesterday for the demos. And then there's the option for creating a new story. And that's where we're going to go right now. As you can see down here below, all of my past videos or, or photos and things that are on my camera roll and in my pictures directory are right here available to me to start building a new story from. But I'm going to just go directly into this tab. And here's the starting screen. And it starts very easily. you got to add photos. You got to add photos or video and there's a mix. And what I discovered when I added videos is that the music that is in intertwined with your story, when you use the mix feature or the remix feature, it does not cover the video. So if you want to use videos, you want to make sure you've got the right kind of sound for those videos and they fit in the right place. So my two examples yesterday were just focused on images because that was a great feature of Movie Maker back when it was part of Windows Live Essentials, which is no longer available, is that I could take a bunch of images tie in some music, build some transitions, and it would make for a decent little kind of insight into something that happened. Well, that feature, that kind of is what is really strong in Story Remix right now as it stands released for build 16193. So I'm going to add a few photos together. So I'm going to click Add Photos. I've already told this. It's either going to show me what I have, right, that I already pointed out to you guys, or I can go to folders, and I have previously let it know about my desktop. I've stored a couple photo folders on the desktop to be used, and then you see it knows my OneDrive, and it knows my local pictures folder. Now, you can edit these, you can change these, you can add, you can remove, you can pick out whatever sources you want, or you can go back to this main story, 
add, click the add photos, and then just pick some photos from down here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to pick some of the images that are in my camera roll, uh, some things I tweeted out over Twitter uh, and used in different stories and things like that. So I'm just going to grab a handful of these and uh, put them here, and then I'm going to click add. And right then and there, my new story has already started. So this is the new story edit screen. Now, it's not very obvious, but in order to title the story, you got to click up here. And you got to pick that, My Demo of Story Remix. Oh, okay. And it is a little slow in the responsiveness, but this is an early release. It's pre-release, but that's now the name of my story that will be associated with it all the way along, okay? So already there is a basic preview ready. And if I was to hit the Watch Story button, watch this. So it's already taken and tied a piece of music, taken my pictures, and it's put them all together. By default, all right, so by default, it has put them in the order that I selected them. If I want to do edit, I can come here to edit. Now I have an option up here that shows all my photos that are still in my, all those folders I pointed out on the main page. I can also add my own. And then here are the three photos I've put together. So as you can see, I'm going to take this one out because that was actually a video of my demo I did yesterday. So let me add a couple more pictures. And you can see it's as easy as, as drag and drop. All right. And it automatically sets it by default for a three second display. Let me grab this picture and stick it down here as well. And let's see what else is available that I can add into this real quick. So I like this image right here. So I'm going to grab it. And as you can see, I can actually drag and drop these to any spot on the line. So when I'm ready, you can also come down here and you have options for editing the duration, the filter, just like filters on Snapchat and Facebook pictures and all that kind of stuff. You can add text to a specific image or you can choose the motion. So let's take a look at those right now. So duration, this is for this slide. The only one that's um, highlighted, I can pick what length I want it to be. If I go to filters, I can actually apply different types of filters, just like we can with any of our photo apps and sharing apps and things like that. And then if I come back here, no, let me do this, go text. So I can also choose some text add in here. So text overlay. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot find out any other way but to present it in white. There's no ob options for shadows and different colors and things like that. So that does impact how the overlay works on a certain image. And then motion, here's here's no motion, zoom to center, zoom to right, steep up right. And so you got all kinds of options for overlay in this stuff, okay? So I'm gonna say done, go back to my editing screen, and then I'm gonna go back one more time. And, oh, I'm sorry, let me show you this, music. So here is the recommended music. This is the music that is part of the story remix itself, okay? It's built into the Photos app and is available to you. And so if I give a little demo play, let me start that over. All right, so you can see it stepping through. Everything's three seconds, though. There's no pace or anything like that. So let's go back one. Let me go back over here. And there's my story remix. Now, it is not obvious about how to do this, okay? But look, the watch story link, I'm going to click on it, and it's going to open up this new editing screen. I can drag and drop. I can export and share. I can edit the story from here. But here's the little magic button. This remix button will remix your videos, your pictures, and everything, the, 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 the filters, the motions for you. So I'm going to click that. I'm going to say OK. And now it's going through changing all that type of content. And now it's created a new overlay for me. New music, new sequencing between the photos. So you can see how it all works and fits together. So pretty cool. At this point, you can export it or share it or down at the bottom of this image of this page right here. Sorry for the slowness of the machine, but it's recording and working on this. Add to OneDrive. So this will export the images that are in this story to OneDrive and your work that you've done. So you can go to another computer and pick up this work. All right, it's not done yet. It's not published, but you'll be able to go pick it up and continue working on it. So if I wanted to share, I could pop up share and upload and share it. So to go to OneDrive and then you'll get a link or you can create a sway from it. 
And then one other thing I can do with this, let me get back to that main page and my uh, edit. So when you're on the edit page itself, I'm going to go to my creations now. And so here's the two I created before. So I'm going to select one of those and I'm going to do edit and create. You can edit and create once it's start. Once you've built a, a program or a thing, you get all these options to draw, to trim, add slow-mo, create photos. So you have some options for manipulating the video once it's put together with all the pages. I'm sorry, I'm going to mute that. Um, all right. So as you can see, it's still an unfinished product. It has a lot of potential. I need to get back in here and mess around more with my completed videos and do the slow-mo thing. But because they're pictures that rotate on a cycle, slow-mo doesn't do much for that. You really need videos. You remember the demo on Thursday of the young lady kicking the soccer ball that was, that was anchored to the fireball. And then it got anchored an explosion video for where it landed in the goal. So those features aren't here yet but you have some options to do a little bit of editing. I expect this to grow over time as Microsoft continues to push out new builds. There'll be new updates to the Photos app. And remember, the Photos app can be updated separately from the OS, so we could feasibly get photo app updates in between builds and continue to see more and more features get added to Story Remix. So that's just a little bit of an introduction to Story Remix. It is really slick. I think it's gonna be great for amateur filmmakers and, and folks that just want to create videos that look pretty good. They can share with family and friends. It's going to give you a lot of capabilities to do that. So until next time, just stay safe out there. Okay, everybody, we'll see you next time.